Youth from the Ward 8 in Madang Town have been volunteering their free time to keep the Madang Airport and the surrounding vicinity free of crime. Even though they are not paid or given any form of recognition from this, for their services, these youths have decided to commit themselves to this cause for the greater good of the community. Based just near the airport, the youths patrol the airport area and the bus stops to ensure the travelling public are not harassed. Jehabakia is more. Madang, one of the tourism hotspots in Papua New Guinea, has over the past few years been plagued with major and petty crimes that has tended to tarnish the town that is known as beautiful Madang. Reports have come out of armed robberies taking place, rise in petty crimes and tourists being robbed and so on. This may be so, but a small group of youths have taken on the challenge, sacrificing their time to keep the airport and its surroundings trouble-free. Youth team leader Paul Wyrum explained to NBC TV the type of work they did to ensure the safety of the traveling public. Remember, I know one of the games that I think I played looking for a plant, I can have a problem with the area, so I don't want to get up now, I don't want to get up now. So I don't want to volunteer to get up now. Even with the work they do, authorities do not recognize them as yet, but they are not discouraged by this and carry on their community policing. As a token of appreciation for their efforts, helicopter company Heli New Guinea, which has a base in Madang, gives the group 500 kina a month to assist them. The youths use these funds for their administrative work. I go to Heli New Guinea, talk to all one bill. So I'm helping me go on every month, I'm putting one to 500 kina. Come inside, I'm Heli New Guinea, I'm what? I'm one, you know, got a airline company. This Heli New Guinea will give. The incentive by these youths is a classic example of how crime can be minimized in many urban centers throughout the country. Jeheb Akia, NBC National News, Port Mosby.